Hi guys and welcome to the How to Throw Paint Parties webinar. I'm really excited to teach you how to throw paint parties that are going to generate extra money fast and also surround you with creativity. So this is a really important and special topic to me so I'm excited to share it with you today. But some people might say it's not much money and it's not worth the time. Okay, so full transparency here. When I first started doing this in Florida, I was working full-time as a teacher and worked at this little place called How Great Thou Art. Now, she paid me $50 a night to teach paintings, and the owners, they were business owners, but they weren't artists, so they were always depending on artists to show up to do the job. So she ended up moving and had a private event that she said I could have all the money from it. So I remember going to the school, this little private school, and creating art with the kids, and my check just from those few little kids was around $200 for two hours. So that's when my mind first kind of started thinking about paint parties. And the reason I didn't pursue it back then, I was busy with a newborn. It was my first year teaching art full-time at a middle school. Um, it was a Title I middle school, so um, I had lots of challenges in addition to learning how to teach my first year. And um, so I just did a few here and there. Um, but it always stayed with me. And I'll tell you, some of the money I've made from doing paint parties um, here in a little while, and I'll tell you, it is definitely definitely worth your time. Okay, so you are in the right place today if you are an artist, creator, um, creative person, a maker, a crafter, a teacher, a scrapbooker, a jewelry maker, maybe even a sculptor. Um, if you do kind of wood art or palette art signs or an art therapist or basically anyone who loves creating. Now, you do not have to be a professional art teacher to learn how to throw paint parties. Um, I have my bachelor in communication, my minor is in psychology, and my associates is in art. And I did go back to school and was certified to teach art. So I now can technically teach in four different states and in private schools. But just because I have all that does not mean that I needed any of that to teach paint parties, okay? Um, you just have to have a passion for it, and you have to just start. I cannot stress that enough. Action is currency, okay? You have to start. My intentions. Okay, so my intentions for you today is I'm going to show you how to make this new income stream super, super simple. And um, My students started offering their workshops within four weeks, so you could technically make money within four weeks. And I'm also going to show you how to make an extra income at your event. So if you have a party already scheduled, how can you make money while you're there? And I know you're spending special time today, and I know everyone is always busy and has things going on. So if you stay with me till the end, I will have a special gift for you. All right, so grab a pen and write this down, okay? So let's find out why you want to throw paint parties. Now, I know mine just started out as, you know, a little extra money here and there, but then it really led to helping people, and I, I really um, talk a lot about, if you read my blogs, about um, healing through art, and it's really kind of my mission to get as many people as possible throwing these paint parties so that we can show other people how to use art to heal. But I want you to be honest right now. I want you to write it down. Is it money? Is it schedule freedom? Is it just you want to share the love of art? And um, I want you to really be honest with yourself. And um, when I first started doing this, it was totally, totally because of money. Um, in Florida, I was teaching full time. And then when I moved back to Texas, I was approached by a fellow teacher who asked if I had ever thrown a paint party. And it was funny because I had showed her a picture I had on my filing cabinet in my classroom of a group of ladies I had taught Starry Night to in Florida. And she said, yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. And so within a few weeks, we had a party set up. And I really, really enjoyed that extra money. So when I first started, I didn't have much confidence, so my price reflected that. Now that I have many, many years of experience and know what a paint party is worth, I can easily make $350 in one night. Now, some of you may, may not think that's very much money. 
Well, to me, that is just the beginning. When you have more than 10 people at a time, you can make into the thousands, which I will tell you more about later. Okay, so I know this training is all about you, but I do want to give you a quick background about me so you know who I am. Um, my name is Heidi Easley, and I've been an art teacher for the past 10 years. And before I was 30, I lost everything. We actually went bankrupt. We were living in Florida at the time, and I was teaching. And then the housing market was crashing, which I didn't know everybody else was having the same issue at the same time. But it was crashing, and our mortgage was rising. And then in addition to the extra money we needed for our house payment, my husband lost his job. So we were those people that would pay the minimum balance on the credit cards and then go get gas and groceries, maxing it out again in the same day. And that was every pay period we would do the same exact cycle. And we were at the end of our finances and this caused us to totally crash. So for about two months, I was a mess. I had felt so much shame and guilt for filing bankruptcy. And I just had a baby. We had built a room onto our little beach house, which you can see um, Pixie up in the top right. She's sitting in the little recliner, and that's where I would rock her. And you can see the mural behind her, the little Tinkerland, Tinkerbell Fairyland. And, um, and I, we had spent you know, all this time and had painted this room for her. And of course, loving Tinkerbell, we named her Pixie, and we just love that little house. The rest are a few pictures of me and my husband. The far left top, the one where we are dressed as hippies, that was our very first picture we ever took together. And we had just started dating, and they took a picture of us for the high school yearbook. Um, so I was 15 years old, and he was 17. No, he had just turned 18. So I was 15, and he was 18. Yes, we've been together since kids. Pretty, well, pretty much, yeah, we have. And then um, my daughter standing in front of the beach, and then on the bottom middle is my dad taking her to the beach to go feed the birds. And then on the far right is Pixie crying as we try to dress her up in a Build-A-Bear costume <laughs> that looked like Tinkerbell. So there's a few pictures of our family. Okay, so here we were, married for almost 10 years and had a new baby, and then having to start all over from scratch. And um, after I picked myself back up, still in shame and tons of embarrassment, I started to use art to heal. And this is one of the first times in my life that I've realized there's more to art than just creating. And the picture on the left is a pixie painting. And yes, that is her using acrylic paint on my couch. So those of you that say you don't have room for an art studio, you don't need much space, we actually didn't have any room at that time, so I just put paper over our couch and let her paint with acrylic paint on our couch. Yes, I know, I'm a mess. And then the picture on the right is me and Pixie just a few months after she was born. And the reason I love this picture so much is because I can see the exhaustion on my face and the love for her all in the same emotion. I also think by the look of her face that she knows I have no idea what I'm doing. And she was right. So, art heals, okay? People, art really does heal. And as I licked my wounds of humiliation, I started painting these wooden surfboards to keep my mind on um, creating something fun. And I was teaching at this school in Florida and brought a few of the surfboards in to paint during lunch. And at that time, I had around 150 students that would come through my art room every week. So, around 150 plus um, a day that would come into my room. And they saw the surfboards, and after about the 150th kid said, Miss Easley, Miss Easley, can you make me one? Can you make me one? Put my name on it. And a light bulb went off, and I thought, oh my gosh, maybe I can sell these. Okay, so here I am, not even 30, and I've gone bankrupt. We've moved into a little apartment, sold everything we had, and you can see the table at the top right where Pixie and I would design our ideas. These are a few pictures of when we kind of had our first surfboard business here. And um, you can also see my husband, mother-in-law, and stepdad helping us saw each board. We were a factory. We would do all of this in our backyard and have them all ready. So here's the day of setup. I am still teaching full-time, and I set up at this little place called Pier Park in Panama City Beach, which a lot of people have been there. If you haven't, it's really cool, and you should go. Um, but I set up, and nobody's, nobody's showing up. And so 
it's you know I set up at 11 that day and by four o'clock I'm just like oh my gosh what has happened I've lost everything this is messed up too how much can I fail before I am 30 years old I was a mess so my mother-in-law and her friend were like hey let's go over to Buffalo Wild Wings and we'll just have a couple of drinks so I go over to Buffalo Wild Wings and I'm drowning my sorrows and I'm trying to figure out my next step what is my next move um, and about that time, my husband calls and he's like, Heidi, you got to get over here. We have orders. There's so many orders. Come on over. And I'm thinking, you're lying. You're lying. And he's like, no, you got to get over here. And so I rush over to see that we had orders. And I had forgotten that everybody's on the beach during the day. And then at night, they are, of course, buying things, going to dinner, all of these things. And that's when the orders would come in around six o'clock on. So long story short, as I um, am so excited and I'm painting the surfboards a little tipsy, um, we went on to sell over a thousand surfboards in two months and that was just working three days a week, 12 to 14 hours a day of me painting each one of those surfboards and if they wanted it, I would sell it. Um, I remember painting in my Jeep if it was raining with you know one of my good friends, Allison, who helped me so much and still supports my business today. And um, you've probably seen her at some of my events if you're local. And I knew every single board I painted helped my family gain financial freedom. And I knew that by using art, I could not only do what I love, but I could make good money at it as well. And this is that moment in my life when I knew, I, I remember walking up to that table and seeing that whole list of orders. And I just remember, you know, going, all the way from the bottom to just being so sad and losing everything and selling everything I love to being catapulted to the top and knowing that I could always use my talents that God gave me to make something out of myself and my family. I've always heard of people having these life-changing moments and this was definitely one of those moments where I knew my life would be different forever. Okay, so here's a few years later after a much needed move back to Texas um, I was working full-time still as a teacher and doing paint parties on the side. Now, this picture is of a girl's trip to New York City, my favorite city ever. I've been three times, and I can't wait to go back. And if you ever go, make sure you go around Christmas. And it is packed, and there's a reason it's packed, because it's amazing. <laughs> so, But this trip, in particular, was one of my favorites ever. And not only did I pay for all of it in advance with cash, but had tons of spending money to see the Rockettes, Wicked, and I had Pixie work for me during that year to earn, During she actually worked for me at the paint parties to earn over $200 of her own spending money, which was mainly spent on candy and at the American Girl store, but she still earned it. And at this time, she was around six years old. And I remember skating that night. We were in Central Park, and I remember skating and having so much gratitude for my life. And I was looking around at all the tall buildings and listening to Christmas music with my family. And I felt so independent and confident that I could do this after hitting such a low just a few years before. So what if you could earn extra income to support your dreams? So I want you to write this down. What do you want? Okay, this is a loaded question. What do you want? Not what your husband wants, not what your kids want, not what your grandma wants, what do you want? Is it just the idea to be able to pay for your grocery bills with cash? Is it to go on a family trip? Is it to buy extra clothes? Be honest, what do you want extra that you can't afford right now? I know when I was working, teaching full time and doing my paint parties, I wanted to be able to buy extra clothes, go on trips, Honestly, go to the grocery store and not have to look at my account and just buy whatever we needed. And those things really drove me and motivated me. And this picture right here says it all. I just had this, this glow about me that whole trip, knowing that not only was I having a blast with my family, but I was able to do it with no loans, no debt. I was able to pay for it full on cash and have a blast doing it. Okay, so did you write what you wanted down? Make sure you write that down. It's very important to your success. All right, I want y'all to meet Julie. 
And Julie is a part of my art mentorship program, um, the paint party mentorship program where I show people how to throw paint parties. And she said, I started my business after being cut to a part-time position. I was able to make back what I'd lost in my salary through my paint parties. Heidi's mentorship program gave me the confidence I needed to step out and try something new. Being a part of the mentorship group has helped me connect with other artists who are doing the same thing. Their advice and encouragement is invaluable. Thank you, Julie. And she is kicking booty. She's not only doing canvas parties, but palette parties as well. A few things you may not know. Okay, so in the picture here are a few of my great friends. Um, Gina with the blonde hair, I'm sitting the second one. And then Allison, she's the lovely lady that also helped me in Florida with my surfboard business. We seem to keep going back and forth from Texas to Florida and somehow we always end up in the same area. Friends for life. <laughs> so I want to tell you a few things you may not know. Paint parties are on the rise, okay? So there was just a special done about painting with a twist on Undercover Boss. If you go to my Facebook page, you can see a whole Facebook Live post that I did about my thoughts on painting with a twist. Spoiler alert, I love them. I love painting with a twist. They are so generous with giving back, and I love that they have paved the way for people like you and me. Painting with a Twist started in 2007, and it quickly opened up to four locations because it was gaining momentum. Now they have over 300 locations in 36 states, and they have grown so fast in 2014, they actually celebrated their two millionth customer. If you think painting on canvas has run its course, it's wrong. It's, it's not. You're wrong. Last year when I went to California for a business conference, um, on Coronado Island, there was a lady teaching step-by-step -step painting method on the beach. I've actually interviewed artists in California that say that it's just taking off in that area. And the painting with the twist, they're looking to open up 700 franchises and want to expand in different countries. And I can tell you, I talk to artists all over the world. I, I've interviewed almost 100 artists now, which you can find on my Vimeo and my YouTube channels. And when I talk to other people in other countries, they express an interest in this as well. So I know there is a need out there. People love to create. And while hanging out with a few friends, there's nothing better. So they are growing and expanding. And if you're out there and you're thinking that you want to start a paint party business but you're scared, I'm here to tell you that you can. And there is a market for it, even if you live close to a painting with a twist. I actually have one in my town, but still have managed to consistently throw paint parties where I'm teaching now part-time to be a part of my daughter's school, but my full-time my full business is paint parties. And um, Pixie and I were crying as we were watching Painting with a Twist. The reason we were crying is the gratitude. I had so much gratitude and the possibility of what can happen. There is a huge market for all things creative. And they were showing how fun art can be. They say, it's not fine art, it's fun art. And sometimes we do have fine artists that have a different look on this. But I believe it's all about connection and being off your phone for two hours and creating. Whether you come alone or you create with friends, whatever you decide. I feel like it's so needed in this society and this day and age. Now, I mentor people on how to throw paint parties. And I didn't expect for this to happen at all when I first started this. So, yes, you can do the franchise with Painting with a Twist. I think it's around 100000 to start. I love what they are doing. I love how they're giving back. I do. And I do recommend Painting with a Twist. But if you're like me, after losing everything, I couldn't even get a small credit card. So I had to do everything cash. So the way I teach is how to make a profit from your very first paint party. Here's another one of my clients. Her name is Brenda Boyd Easterlin and she's from Mississippi. Um, and she says, hello, my name is Brenda and I would like to share with you a few highlights of virtual boot camp so far. I am actually just getting my brushes wet myself, but I am learning so much from Heidi and the Facebook page created just for us. Believe me, there is a lot of wisdom in both places and other artists are willing to share what works for them. I have a long way to go, but I am very joyful that I have faith and courage to begin. 
I have been practicing a lot on my painting and I love it. And I just want to paint. With God, I can do all things. And with Heidi so readily available to help in any way, I feel I have definitely made the right decision. I just began pursuing this December 28th. And as of right now, I have three paint parties lined up. Oh my, excited and a little unsure of myself, but I can do this and so can you. Looking forward to new friends and some extra bucks in my pocket. Keep looking up. Well, thank you, Brenda, for saying that. And Brenda actually has thrown a paint party since me filming this. Um, I saw some stuff on her Facebook page the other day that um, some paintings she had done with some um, family and friends that turned out really great. So yeah, it's so true. Um, you know, with this, I didn't even realize again, sometimes things just happen organically and I ended up creating this community and now it's, you know, we share ideas and we have a monthly call where we get together and talk about all the things that are going on and I just think it's so great because sometimes it's hard to talk to your family when you're doing something different that nobody understands. But when you have a community of artists and people that are doing the same thing all over the world and they're connecting in one place, it can really fast track your success. Good news when you host a paint party. So who here wants a more simple and less complicated way of doing things? Uh, yeah, always. <laughs> Some paint parties, um, small paint parties provide extra money. And so, okay, so I mentioned earlier how you can earn anywhere from $350 and up for a paint party. Um, I do charge a lower amount for kids, but let's talk about other numbers. So everything in my business has evolved step by step, just like I teach people and just like my paint parties. So how would that feel to let it grow little by little without the stress? Okay, think about that for a minute. People kept asking me how I was doing it. How did I keep having consistent paint parties? And that's where I've developed proven, time-tested methods to help with that. So I know sometimes people just, you know, they want the fast track, they want to have the biggest party ever, but sometimes you need to grow smaller in order to get there. Um, I have taught parties of just six people up to parties of 120 people at a time. And to be honest, the larger parties are amazing income. They're, it's, it's wonderful. But there is a ton of work with that. You have to hire people. You have to have a ton of supplies, which means you have to have a ton of money to buy those supplies. You have to have microphones, speakers in place, and the list goes on. When you're teaching around 10 people at a time, you can keep it simple. You can provide high quality instruction and make money, which is what we're talking about. Think about teaching two parties a month to 10 people at a time. So that's around $700, okay? The supplies are pretty inexpensive, and I teach you all of that as well. But people are paying you for your expertise, and they're also paying you for you breaking down the process step by step. Sometimes we take for granted. As an artist or an artistic type person, we, we look at something and we think, oh my gosh, that's so easy. But for somebody who has never done it before, and I can tell you I've taught thousands and thousands of people now, there are a lot of people out there that have never, ever painted before or maybe haven't painted since they were in third grade. And those people want and need your expertise to break it down step by step. Just because it seems like it's, easy, some, it's something easy for you to do doesn't mean it's easy for someone else to do. And they are relying on you to help them. The first reason paint parties work is because the topic of my event is already in place. So if you've noticed on some reality shows, even the Kardashians, they have had a paint party expert come to their house and throw a paint party. And um, Painting with a Twist has created the sip and paint movement where everybody already knows what you are offering. So you just have to offer it. Fear is big, okay? I totally understand, and this is manageable. I can tell you every time I do something new, there is fear. It doesn't matter where I'm at in my business, there is fear. Last year, I started doing Facebook Lives, and I do videos all the time, but I remember the first time I did a Facebook Live, my hands were shaking so much that I thought everybody could tell on the other side of the camera. Um, I want to share something with y'all. I read the book called Big Magic, Creative Living Beyond Fear by Elizabeth Gilbert. If you haven't read it yet, I highly recommend it. 
And one of the passages, I loved it so much that I printed it out. It's actually beside my computer. Um, it says, Whatever the outcome, you have traveled a noble path. I have a friend, an inspiring, aspiring musician, whose sister said to her one day, quite reasonably, What happens if you never get anything out of this? What happens if you pursue your passion forever, but success never comes? How will you feel then, having wasted your entire life for nothing? My friend, with equal reason, replied, If you can't see what I'm already getting out of this, then I'll never be able to explain it to you. When it's for love, you will always do it anyhow. Not too long ago, I was at lunch with my mother-in-law, and she was asking how my business was going. She told me that she was so proud of me for being able to do what I do and pay the bills at the same time. She said, not everybody gets to do that. So here I am today. I'm telling you, I'm not telling you to quit your job full time and start painting. But what I am saying is that you can take steps to change your life. Before I started teaching, I worked in workforce management, okay, at a corporate job. It was great money. I made tons of friends, tons of connections, but it wasn't me. I would go sit behind a desk for 10 to 12 hours a day looking at spreadsheets filled with numbers that dealt, dealt with call volume for a call center. If you know me at all, I am not a numbers person. I have no idea why they trusted me to do that. <laughs> I guess I was good at, I don't know. <laughs> but now I wake up after nine hours of sleep each night. I fix my daughter breakfast every morning. I take her to school and I usually come home and paint. And yes, there is some computer stuff with as business as any business, but a lot of my work is creative. And it did not just happen overnight, okay? I had to take action through fear to take that first step. Now my life is totally different from 10 years ago. It's night and day. Let me repeat that again. I had to take action through fear to take that first step. I think that's so important because we can be stuck in fear and not do anything, but you really need to make sure you take action through fear. Another tip I read from Big Magic was about how she met a very clever, independent, creative, and powerful woman in her mid-70s who offered her some life wisdom. She said, We all spend our 20s and 30s trying so hard to be perfect because we're so worried about what people will think of us. Then we get into our 40s and 50s and we finally start to be free because we decide that we don't care what anyone thinks of us. But you won't be completely free until you reach your 60s and 70s when you finally realize this liberating truth. Nobody was ever thinking about you anyhow. They aren't. They weren't. They never were. People are mostly just thinking about themselves. People don't have time to worry about what you're doing or how well you're doing it because they are all caught up in their own dramas. People's attention may be drawn to you for a moment if you succeed or fail spectacularly and publicly, for an instance, but that attention will soon enough revert right back to where it's always been, on themselves. While it may seem lonely and horrible at first to imagine that you aren't anyone else's first order of business, there's also a great release of, to be found in this idea. You are free because everyone else is too busy fussing over themselves to worry all that much about you. Go be whomever you want to be, then do whatever you want to do. Pursue whatever fascinates you and brings you to life. Create whatever you want to create, and let it be stupendously imperfect, because it's exceedingly likely that no one will ever notice. I remember when I first started doing paint parties, I was so worried that they were looking up to me to mess up. Then after a few parties in, I realized quickly that they are so nervous they will mess up. They are concentrating on themselves and their painting, and my job is to make them feel comfortable and successful during their painting. And of course, to have fun too. This is one of my favorite quotes. I have to share this. It's by Marianne Williamson. It's our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightening about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. 
We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. That is one of my favorite quotes, and I have it um, up on kind of by my laundry room. I did this um, artwork on a palette, and I just love it. So what I want to say to you is if you have fear about this but feel called to help others by using your art talents, then you must do it. I promise the other side of the, on the other side of fear is success. Okay, so step one, who do you want to teach? Okay, do you want to teach kids? Do you want to teach adults? Do you want to teach people at the senior center? Um, who do you want to teach? So write that down. And then I want you also to write down a hundred names of every potential person that could come that would come to a paint party. It could be coworkers, colleagues, friends, neighbors, extended family, pretty much anything you can think of. But I want you to stop when you hit a hundred. Okay, don't worry what they will think of you. Don't worry if they've even ever painted or if they've ever even shown you that they've liked arts and crafts type stuff. Don't worry about that. And then step two, how do I contact them? Okay, so here's what I like to teach. I suggest throwing a guinea pig party. This is where you invite a few friends over and you test it out, okay? This kind of will get a feel for how you're going to do your parties and also get a feel for um, the timing and things like that. And you're doing it with people that trust you and love you and they're not going to, you know, they're going to give you an honest opinion. And then step three, how do I follow up? Okay, follow up with email. This is so important, okay? What you put in the email is also so important. And how you contact and follow up with email is also important. And in my um, art mentorship program, I teach all of those things, exactly how to write the emails that are going to get response and exactly how to get people to your parties consistently. Okay, true happiness. This is why I do what I do. Okay, so this lady, she did not want to paint at first. Um, she was running around taking pictures of everybody else, and I kept asking her, you know, you need to paint, you need to paint. And finally, she had kind of told me she had a bad experience when she was in elementary school, and she hadn't painted since, okay? This is a lady in her 70s, and she hadn't painted since she was in elementary school because somebody said something that was hurtful to her. And I know it sounds weird, but this happens a lot. I hear this so much from an art teacher or another teacher from grade school saying something about their art, and it has affected them their entire life. And so I talked her into it, and I told her, I said, I said, if you paint tonight, I promise you will have nothing but encouragement from me. You can't make mistakes here. You know, I can help you. I can fix it. I can, we can use baby wipes. We can do whatever. But I promise you, you will not be criticized in this place. And so she decided to paint. And by the end of the night, she was actually standing up dancing with the paintbrush. Okay, I was so happy for this lady. But what made me sad about this is that she didn't paint for over 60 years because of one person's opinion. And the reason I bring this up is what we say really can matter. We can all have excuses to why we won't do something. We all do it, okay? I do it, and I know we all do this, but here's how they show up in your life. You wait until you can be perfect. You wait until you can't fail. You wait until you have another degree, or you wait until you have more credentials under your belt. You feel resentful. You, do, you might not like me talking about this. You resent your clients if you're not charging enough. I can tell you guys, I charge an amount that I know I will provide wonderful service to my painters and clients, but I also charge the amount that I won't resent them. So if I'm taking good time away from my family, I want to make sure it's for good money and that I'm providing a great experience for my clients and customers. So not only will they enjoy it, but they'll come back and be repeat customers. Sometimes we can be angry at ourselves because we haven't broke through this yet. And I know money holds this energy of commitment. When there is a financial investment there, it is a higher commitment. They will have their energy in it. They will get better results. 
This is why I have people pay a week in advance to make sure they're committed to a paint party. The same thing with you. If you're charging $10 and you're wondering why they're not getting good results and you're not getting good turnout, it's because you're not valuing what you are giving to the community or to the people that are requesting these things. You have to charge the right amount. I did, when I first started, I charged a lower amount. But soon after, I got my, my feet wet and I knew what I was doing. My prices went to where they needed to be. This lady, Jenny, she is also in my art mentorship program with the Virtual Boot Camp. And I just love seeing her evolve. She has done so much in such a short amount of time. And here's what she wrote. She says, Heidi Easley's Virtual Boot Camp changed my life. It gave me the tools and information I needed to launch my own successful paint party business. It's been a year and I've learned a ton, met amazing people, and made money. I have gradually built my business without a startup loan or going into debt. Last weekend, I deposited $750 into my bank account, my paycheck from just two paint parties. That felt really, really good. If you're on the fence about the virtual boot camp, just do it. You can own your own successful paint party business. Oh, thank you, Jenny. Yeah, and she has bravepaintparties.com if you want to check her out. Braveartpaintparties.com if you want to check her out. And um, She does amazing stuff, and she's really inspiring to me as well to see how she's um, in a very, very small community able to do this and provide for her family. Okay, so I know if you're still listening, you are serious about taking the next steps to move your creative adventure forward and make extra income for your family. I have created and designed a special package for you called Paint Party Pro. It's where we work together. I have designed this program where you can make money throwing paint parties within four weeks, okay? This is without taking out huge loans or going and buying tons of supplies. I have all of the tricks. Paint Party Pro gives you full access to eight modules with all of the tools that come with the modules. You will get handouts, direct copy that tells you exactly what to write in an email to get noticed and to get responses. I will also give you full access to our private Facebook group with other people I mentor all over the world. When I first started this program, I wanted to create a community of artists and creators doing the same thing all over the world. I wanted a community where people could relate to each other and know exactly what they were going through. I also wanted to be able to answer questions quickly when people are feeling stuck or having fear issues come up. This 24-hour Facebook group is checked daily to make sure you get the support you need and when you need it. I also have a monthly call where you can ask any questions and I help with the mindset part of this business. When starting something new, it's invaluable to have a support system in place, and it's crucial. Oh my gosh, it's so crucial to your success. Okay, so what if, what if you're saying, Heidi, what if I don't have teaching or training experience? And um, what I can say to you is that everyone has a natural style for how you teach. So don't fight your style, okay? I will help you use specific strategies that will guide you through teaching. You don't have to be a teacher or an art professor to throw paint parties. You just need to be a creative person who is willing to take action. It's not about what you teach, it's about how you discover your natural confidence. No matter what level of experience you have, you have to start somewhere. Richard Branson had to start somewhere, okay? All of these very successful people had to take that first step. In the Paint Party Pro, it will give you the opportunity to achieve real results. In addition to the eight modules that I include, I'll include videos and handouts that walk you step by step through this process, and you will also have the 24-hour access to the private Facebook group of a whole community, like-minded artists that are doing the same thing as you in a different part of the world. And you will also get monthly calls to keep you connected and on track and three bonuses in addition to this. Oh, and the calls are recorded, so don't worry if you have to miss them. You can always access the replay. Did you say bonuses? <laughs> yes, bonuses. You will get two of my best-selling paintings, the Owl in Love and Chevron Ornament. 
I have painted the Al in Love with hundreds of people and the Chevron ornament with over a thousand people. Um, so that means that it is very, very popular. It is time tested. Um, and yes, if you're adding it up on your calculator, $35, $35 a person, it adds up to a lot, okay? And you will also get access to step-by-step -step instructions for these paintings and access to use them immediately with your parties. So it takes out the fear of, will I have paintings to offer? What will I paint? What will I give to these people? And you come out of the gate ready to go with two of my best-selling paintings. And you will also get access to my information on how to make extra money at your events. This is my little secret that you will learn about. I give you exact instructions for how to make this happen and what to do. It's great to have a paint party and make hundreds of dollars for doing something you love and then have the potential to make more once you are there. Just a little hint, I once made $4,500 in one night using this method. Okay, so what's the investment? Okay, so if you're asking, Heidi, what are we talking about? For the Paint Party Pro, you are going to get instant access to eight modules of video and handouts of exactly how to throw paint parties or any creative party for that matter. Um, this is the coolest thing about this. Once you learn this technique, you can reuse it and reuse it for any kind of creative thing, whether you're teaching a jewelry making class or a pottery class or a glass class, anything like that. Um, the modules provide proven time-tested strategies for gaining customers, keeping customers, and how to consistently throw paint parties over and over. Once you learn this system, you can use it again and again for any type of creative event, jewelry making, palette art, knitting classes, etc. And this is a value of $3,000. You are also getting three bonuses, two of my best-selling paintings, Alan Love and Chevron Ornament, which I've sold into the thousands. You will also have access to use of these two paintings and to use them as your own and I provide the step-by-step -step instructions so you can paint it and book your party immediately. And that's a value of $500. In addition to this, you will get access of how I make extra money at paint parties. This is a value of $150. This Paint Party Pro is streamlined to eliminate overwhelm and help you make $350 over and over again. Obviously, I'm not going to charge you $3,650, okay? As I thought about my price and discussed with my family, we thought this would be an easy buy at $997 because you can easily make back your investment in two to three workshops. But it's really about living in your purpose, you living into your calling. There is so much anger out there. There is so much stuff out there that is dividing us. We need you to lead us. We need fewer people who are reacting and more people who are creating and serving. So the Paint Party Pro is not going to be $3,650. It's not even going to be $997. If you sign up today, you can sign up for just $397. And you can do a payment plan to just pay $198.50 today and then one more payment of $198.50 in 30 days. So what you wanna do is just click on the link below this video to sign up today, okay? So guys, this is a really great offer and I, it's all about, there's only one of me and I really wanna make sure there's other artists that are out there showing how you can use art to heal. We're such a divided nation right now, a divided world, and there's so much stuff going on. If we can just get together and create, it's just such a peaceful moment, and I just want more people to discover that. Um, to make this you know, an easy buy, I want to add another bonus if you sign up quickly today. It's my cherished interviews of 11 successful artists from all over the world doing what they love and earning money doing it. It's called Starving Artists No More. You will have lifetime access to these inspiring interviews that will help you with your mindset and open up the possibility of what's for you. Another bonus, you will also get my ebook, How to Throw a Paint Party. I've sold hundreds of these and they are very helpful to your process. This is an energy and time saver for sure. 
Is this for you? Okay, some of you may be nervous to get started. Fear is totally normal. Okay, do you feel it in your gut when you want something different? I remember standing in my classroom one day. I was at the school district I wanted to be at. I had my daughter was in the school I wanted her to be at. I had the job I always thought I wanted since I was 14 years old, but I still had this sinking feeling that there was something more I was supposed to do. You know if this is right for you. You know if you have that feeling that I want to do something more with my creative talents. I want you to know that this is a proven, time-tested method that will help you generate extra income. I know I can help you. Last year in August, I had a mini stroke called a TIA. Through tons of testing, great doctors, and the grace of God, they found a hole in my heart that they, they think caused the stroke. After a procedure in November, they repaired the hole. The reason I'm telling you this is because I've been teaching paint parties full time for almost four years. I was going through all of the stuff with the stroke, all of the tests, many, many tests, procedures, and I still managed to make my income through paint parties. Since I had proven systems in place, I didn't even have to reach out to book parties. They were coming to me. I was still able to work and make all of the income needed to support my family even during this scary time. And because I booked my events, I was able to schedule rest time to heal from the procedure. Although I did have one event I had to move a little slow at because it was right after the surgery. And because I couldn't lift anything over 10 pounds, my sweet family jumped in and helped me set up and clean up. So the reason I'm telling you all of this is I want you to succeed. There is only one of me, and I want more people to know about the healing powers of art. I have, a vi I have a big vision to help people heal with art, but I am only one person. If I can get more caring people around the world throwing art parties, we can do our part in helping others see the power of a little paint and a little brush. All right, let's have some fun. <laughs> and this is me at one of the paint parties drawing or painting a mustache on one of the um, painters. It was really fun that night. Um, so I just want to say you will have lifetime access to this program. You will have all the module videos and handouts forever. So let's say you want to join, but you can't access the modules for a few months because you know you're swamped right now. That is okay. Sign up today and start getting acquainted with the Facebook group and the paintings. You will always have access to the program, lifetime access, so don't miss this opportunity because I know, I know I can help you. This is another one of my clients. Her name's Jeanette, and she is the owner now of thepaintpalette.com. And here's what she says. I joined Heidi's art mentorship program in December of 2016, and it was the best decision for me. Through this virtual boot camp, I gained the confidence to turn my passion into a business. The knowledge and support that the program and private Facebook group offers is invaluable. Heidi is very generous in sharing the tips she learned along the way. One month after taking the course, I held my first paint party and earned over $400. I already have several other events scheduled, and I am looking forward to my new journey. Thank you, Heidi. Oh, thank you, Jeanette. Yeah, she just um, hit the ground going, and it's that easy if you take action. I'm telling you, I walk you step by step of exactly how to do it. I've been teaching art and paint parties for over 10 years, and I have been consistently throwing paint parties for almost five years and have learned tons and tons through trial and error of how to do it right, quickly, and the most cost-effective. So don't wait to learn the hard way, okay? Let me help you. Let's, let's fast track your success today. I'm here. I've done all the mistakes. I have learned the hard way. Let me teach you my steps and my tricks that will get you earning income in four weeks. All right, guys, let's do this. I know you are someone that cares about using art to help people or you wouldn't still be listening. I want you to succeed. I want you to see the potential of how fun and creative your life can be. Going to bed at night knowing I will wake up and paint the next day is so rewarding. I don't really ever feel like I'm working, just creating. 
So if you want to join today, click on the button below and let's get you started. There is nothing like the present. And like I said, you will have lifetime access. So if you feel like you want to do this, but you can't start until spring break or summer, go ahead and join. Get acquainted with the Facebook group community. Get acquainted with the modules. And then you can really dive deep and go through each module. And you can start listening to the calls that I have monthly. So click on the button below and let's get you started. And for those of y'all that wanted the free gift, if you will just email me at Heidi.Easley at Yahoo.com or TexasArtAndSoul at gmail.com, and I will give you your free Starry Night step-by-step -step PDF. This will walk you through exactly how to paint Starry Night. So maybe you've listened to this whole thing, but you just want to end up painting Starry Night, that's fine too. But if you're still listening, there's probably a reason. You probably have that calling. Maybe you've thought about this before. So guys, I'm giving you an incredible value and it's only $3.97 to get all of those things plus all of the bonuses. So let's get started today. You get immediate access. So click on the link below and let's get started. I wish you all the success in the world. Bye guys.